The University of Texas at El Paso College of Engineering, in collaboration with Halliburton, presents Parabolic Solar Collector. Before using any machinery, make sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. A concentrating solar power system uses mirrors or lenses to reflect and concentrate sun rays towards a receiver tube located at the focus line of the parabolic cylinder. The receiver absorbs the incoming radiations and transforms them into thermal energy. The parabolic solar collector is shaped in a parabola which makes it easier to focus the heat in one designated spot to get the highest energy concentration possible provided by the sun. Unlike a flat plate collector, the focusing collector can efficiently use the direct or beam component of solar radiation only. It cannot focus and use the diffuse radiation. This radiation represents perhaps 10% of the energy received from the sun, even on an apparently clear day, and the whole of the energy received in fully overcast conditions. The apparatus used for the parabolic solar collector is the TE38 Focusing Solar Energy Collector. It consists of a solar emitter which measures the incident solar radiation a reflector which focuses the solar rays onto the collector, an instrumentation unit which shows the shaded temperature, the collector temperature, and the incident radiation, and an ambient temperature proof which measures ambient temperature for reference. To calculate the energy received by the reflector, the following formula will be used, where A0 is the projector area of the reflector and I is the radiation intensity. The energy reflected by the reflector in direction of the collector, which is the reflector radiation, is given by the following formula, where rho is the reflection factor of the reflector and EV is the incident beam radiation. The energy absorbed by the collector is given by the following formula, where alpha is the absorption factor of the collector, gamma is the shape factor, and E2 is the energy reflected by the reflector. The sensible heat gain is given by the following formula where C is the specific heat of copper, M is the mass, and delta T1 is the difference on temperature of the collector. Delta T is 60 if you take results every 60 seconds. The convection loss from collector is given by the following formula, where A1 is the effective surface area of the collector, including one end. T1 is the collector's temperature, T0 is the shade temperature, and the 1 is the diameter. The efficiency is given by the following formula, where E4 is the sensible heat gain, and E1 is the energy received by the reflector. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.